Hello, Gary Crowley here with DoItYourselfJointPainRelief.com, the totally free website with do-it-yourself uh, joint pain relief videos for every joint in your body. In uh, this video series, I'm going to give you a wrist tendonitis, um, basically quick fix uh, series, because I want to give you guys both a way to uh, assess, maybe a little differently, uh, where to work uh, to get rid of your wrist pain and I also just want to cover the kind of the main culprits for most people and then if you have more that you want to do my main wrist pain relief uh, page has three videos where I run you through basically everything that could be causing your wrist pain but hopefully this for for most of you this will do the majority of it and then if you want to clean up and fine-tune a little bit you can head over to the the main wrist pain relief page uh, on doyourselfjointpainrelief.com. So, uh, basically, most wrist pain in your wrist is caused by these very tight muscles in your forearm yanking on your wrist. All these muscles have tendons that run down through your wrist, and when they get tight, uh, they pull, and you feel it here, but most of the time what's causing the pain is these muscle groups yanking on those tendons. So our goal is basically to release all the inappropriate tension in those muscles, they can relax, and then your wrist stops hurting. So um, sometimes it can also be the top of your forearm. That, that picture was of the belly of your forearm. It can also be the top of your forearm. So in video two, I'm just gonna run through the top a little bit, but most of the time, it's that belly of your forearm. So what we wanna do is I wanna give you a way to um, assess where to work and then I'm going to give you two ways and then I'm going to show you how to work. So a lot of people recommend uh, that you stretch you know your forearms and you know some people might say they're stretching your wrist but you want to stretch your forearms and anytime you want to do that throughout the day if you're on the computer a lot, if you're driving a lot, if you're honestly lifting weights a lot, some people in spin classes these get tight, anything uh, where you're using your hands a lot, you do a little stretch in here and what you'll find is you will feel tension in certain places. Now some of you will think it's normal to just feel this whole thing tight and um, you really don't want this tight. Healthy tissue has is flexible and has a lot of give. When tissue is too tight it loses its, its range, of, range of motion and um, it leaves you less functional. So one way to assess where to work is to do a little simple stretch like this and you will find like for this, I feel a little tension up the middle of my forearm. Um, if I change the angle a little bit, if I was tight here, I'd feel it there. This one, I feel a little bit of tension there. So you just kind of want to investigate around. You're not trying to fix anything right now. But also, anytime you want to do these, if you you know did these stretches a few times during the day, it's only going to help keep these muscles free. The problem with the stretches is they don't a lot of times do enough for uh, for basically what modern living does to our forearms. Um, so you stretch and you kind of go, like for me, when I do that one, I notice I'm, I'm kind of tight there. So stretching is one way to assess and then where you're tight. And then the other way to, to assess is to press. So you can stretch and assess and press and assess. Um, but when I press here, that tissue is a little painful when I press on it. And I'm just pressing it with my thumb. You just press in there. Healthy tissue has a lot of give and it's nice and supple and well hydrated. Tight, inappropriately tight tissue is painful when you press on it and it's a little more uh, rubbery. It doesn't have as much, much give. So basically this spot I've decided through stretching and through pressing, I've decided that that spot's tight and needs to be released so that it can stop yanking on my wrist. And there's, there's two ways to, to do this actually. On my, now on the techniques page of my website, um, I, sh I go into greater detail how to do this, but we're going to do one of two things. We're either going to do what I call a press, pull, release. So you press into the tissue. You, In this case, I'm pushing, but you can pull or push. Um, and then you release and you go back. You stay on that, kind of drift back to that same spot and press, pull, release, press, pull, release, press, pull, release. Um, and basically what that's doing is... I am not going across the tissue. I'm not massaging because that doesn't tell your cerebellum and your brainstem to release this tissue. 
what your cerebellum needs to know is you're pressing on all these little sensors in your tissue and you press on it and then you pull on it like a, you're trying to stretch a piece of saran wrap or yank on a piece of clay that's under your skin. So you're not going across your skin, you're on the same spot of skin and then you're pulling and then you're going back and you're pulling and you're going back and you're pulling. Now I do this with my fingers, I do it with my thumbs um, and you can do that. Now the other technique is to do what I call a, a press hold move technique where on that same tight spot you can press and then you want to make that tissue function under under your basically pressure. So I'm pressing on that tender spot and then you have to find the now in these forearms opening and closing your hand moving your wrist will will basically generally access anything that's tight in here. So for me opening and closing doesn't do that much. If I was over here that big deep muscle there that's a good one for opening and closing but here Actually, I get a little more movement and I get a little more action in that muscle I'm pressing on by moving my wrist up and down. So you just want to investigate. After you find a tight spot, you want to, you know, either if you just do the press pull release, you don't have to figure out how to move it. But I like to do a little of both. Your brain sometimes likes a little variety when you're communicating with it so it doesn't get bored with the same monotone message. So I'll do a little press pull release and then I'll do a little press hold move and I'll do you know that gets it a little bit too I'll do different things I'll try and you know mix it up a little bit you know and um, but as that tissue becomes less tender and more supple uh, some people can feel it when it lets go um, I can because it's what I do for a living but if nothing else it becomes less tender and then you move on to another spot now you can move down a half inch up a half inch over a half inch uh, like there's a there's actually now that didn't quite show up in my stretching but this muscle at that level right there is pretty tight and so I'm press hold move both kind of get it that's a little better and then I'll do press pull release for a little bit and basically press hold move press pull release is basically what you're gonna do for this whole forearm here um, from here to here and if you just release everything in here as best you can, you will probably notice your wrist feels better. Now the other way to get in there, now that we've you've seen me do it with my with my with my fingers, is sometimes those deep muscles. Now in me, um, if I do uh, another way to do this, a uh, stretch your wrist. I don't recommend this to a lot of people. I find they tend to jam their wrist too much. But if you get on a the edge of a desk or something, and you just kind of lean back. Now you don't want to lean so it jams here in your wrist. You don't want to feel anything here. You want to feel it in the front of your forearm. So if you are capable of leaning back and feeling that in your forearms, then you can do it. And even if your, your palms come off the table a little bit, that's fine because I don't want you jamming your wrists. Um, but if you, if you feel it deep in there, which that stretch shows to me, sometimes you need more than your thumb. So you have, you have two options here that I want to share with you. Number one, <clears throat> Um, you can take your own el your forearm kind of slash elbow and press into that deep spot and now you can do a little bit press hold move but it doesn't really work as well with your elbow so you want to do a press I mean the press pull release doesn't work as well with your forearm so you kind of want to do a press hold move and you just find tender spots and you'll find you can get in here I'm just basically using my body weight and kind of the last inch of my forearm and that actually, that actually feels kind of good. I mean, that tissue's tender, but that feels good when I do it. If you just, for all you computer jockeys, gosh, if you did this at the end of every day, um, your hands, even you super moms with your hands on the steering wheel all day, um, that, that's a great way too. Now, the other thing you can absolutely do is if you have a friend who is willing to press their two thumbs into that deep part of your forearm, or honestly, if you have a friend that's willing to listen to you and you say yeah I need you to press there and they take both their thumbs and they press in and then you just do a basically a press hold move while they press on it um, if they're talented enough you can teach them to do a press pull release but that if you can trade off with someone you can get you know a lot more done in less time because you're just doing all the letting go and they're taking all their energy and applying the pressure so that is um, 
basically what you want to do and you'll find you'll do certain things and if you kind of test test that wrist and go wow I, I notice when I do that spot there that wrist pain really goes away or I do I release that spot it gets a little better but boy when I do that one over there that really lets it go and then you will know for whatever you do in your life these tend to be your spots um, so again uh, you can stretch and assess you can press and assess, and basically healthy tissue doesn't hurt when you press on it. And then you do a, a press pull release or a press hold move on any of this tissue from here to here. And what you'll find, again, is that um, the more you get in there and release it, generally the better your wrist will feel. If that doesn't do it for you, again, my main uh, wrist pain relief page has a lot more stuff where I get into the releasing this stuff up here because the nerves sometimes get yanked on and make your wrist hurt. But uh, hopefully for most of you, this will do most of it. <clears throat> uh, but next video, video two, because I don't want this video to be much longer, uh, I'm just going to get into releasing the top of this forearm because a lot of you people who mouse a lot, um, and I've been guilty of this, if sometimes I end up getting these muscles too tight and I just need to release them and then my wrist doesn't hurt anymore. So that is video one of two for uh, wrist tendonitis uh, quick fix and I will see you at video two. Thank you for your time.